arrived to your FX. Coming at you 29 January. Two more days till the end of the first month. My, my, time flies. Just looking at this ES chart, we're kind of bearish in the middle of nowhere. We got a lot of, uh, had a lot of news today, news driven day, politically driven day, whatever you want to call it. UK Parliament votes on Brexit elements and amendments. Roger Stone, he's being arraigned in DC. Kind of political tone to it. U.S. formally requested to extradite Hawaii's CFO. Uh, some political stuff going on. Uh, and that's tough to trade. Typically, it's usually not risk on. We also have continuing Chinese trade talks. Asian markets are, are marginally bearish here um, at the open, as you can imagine, with the uh, criminal charges against Huawei. Surely I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Um, but, of course, I don't care, so. Let's just see what the charts say. Uh, politics always muddies the water. Let's just put it that way. Uh, where are we going to start here? Let's start a Euro. It's just hasn't done anything. Uh, we drifted back down to uh, 21 last night. Now we're at 35. You could argue that since we've been above 25, we've remained above 25, 114.25 for the majority of of time. So that's, I would say, slightly bullish. Uh, I wouldn't say this is crazy bullish. The calendar is super light today. Spanish unemployment. Um, nothing else really coming out. I guess we got consumer confidence in the U.S. at, at, at 4 p.m., Swiss time. So not a lot to move this except for Brexit news and politics. So if we take a step back, next resistance here is, is 114.88. Um, let's call it sort of 68 to 88 resistance. Let's keep in mind that the risk is, is, is weighted on the back end of this week, starting with the FOMC uh, tomorrow. So we're looking for a, a, a range today. Let's just say 10, 1060 on the range. Um, and, but you got to keep your eye on, on the news. Cable, uh, as we said, Parliament's going to vote today. I have no fucking idea what's going to happen with this. Um, could could go either way, 150 points. I haven't looked at the options and, and what the uh, what are they pricing in for for range. I don't see any great levels here in cable. I'm not trading cable today. I'm just watching. Um, any of you who are trading it, I will pray for you um, because you'll you'll need some help probably. Dollar Swiss. It's interesting here. The 200 day 99 sort of 0, 04. Um, dollar Swiss is always tricky, but it's much harder to buy Dollar Swiss than it is to sell it. So, you know, if we get another print at 06 and you have the 200 day there and, and Euro's looking uh, perky and, and we have a bit of a risk off moment, this might be a moment to get short Dollar Swiss. We don't have this trade on. I'm just pointing it out uh, as a possible setup. Um, looks looks all right. Of course, short dollar yen from from up near 110 on the on the long term book looks fine. Um, we're not taking anything for granted. The stops now have to be 110.01. This is where everyone else in the world has their stop. So that's going to be tricky if it gets back up there. And for the short-term book, that'll be a break trade. Uh, but for now, we, we, we remain risk-off-ish. Um, and we're waiting for further confirmation with sort of a break of 109.10 and 109 the figure. Very, very quiet overnight, so we're not getting super excited either way. Let me bring up dollars are, as you all know, um, we're always looking to sell 
methods are. Um, we're keeping a very close eye on this 1354 area. It's a percent away, but we will be looking to fade this. Uh, so this is a big daily pivot. There will be a lot of CTA action here down into 50s. And what we would like to do is either buy a super low one down between 25 and 20 or buy the reversey back up through 54. So it's time to start looking at this. There's no trigger today, but we want to start watching the price action, the daily price action to get used to the dance uh, as we get closer to 55. So something to keep an eye on, on the radar, as we like to say in the business. Um, what else? Aussie, CAD, Kiwi have done nothing. As you can see on this on this chart here, I guess Kiwi's slightly higher. Still, nothing to do here in Kiwi. There will be stops above uh, 68.75, but it's far away. Uh, let's look at oil. We um, we've been talking about this pattern here that everyone, even non-oil traders, are going to trade. What we like about yesterday is sort of the false break to the downside, 51.38 the low. Now we're inching back up. I think you can you can start revving your engines up through 53.65, and then you need to add through 54.22. Um, you might even be able to um, to buy some cheap ones here with a stop below yesterday's low, but we're not great oil traders, and we are a little bit risk off. So, you know. The story is not great on this, but the pattern here is is one of these Dr. Seuss simplistic technical patterns that every trader in the world, if they see it, will trade it. So there will be a lot of action through this neckline, and whether you're a short-term or a long-term trader, um, you should probably take a, look, take a look at this. There's money to be made in oil. Uh, on the top side if we get there. The rest of the stuff is really not much going on. Uh, gold still bid. Uh, we did not get given at 92 yesterday. We have these little core longs that's not going to pay the bills. But um, gold still looks bid. Uh, and it's, you know, it's a tough risk reward now as you're buying low ones. Your stop has to be way lower. So I would tread carefully on the long side, try and get a better average. Tricky style to trade here. Um, you have this big long bar. If you've missed it, getting back in is tricky. Uh, but gold still looks a bit. Finally, uh, let's talk about Bitcoin. You know, we, we've been talking about uh, buying Bitcoin, 3,000, 2,000, 1,000. Um, we're still on board with this. We wanted to make a new low through 3200, um, and again, you want to you want to buy 3100s or 30,050s, and then you want to sell 80% of the position, um, sort of after a 10% gain, and that will give you an average for Bitcoin in the thousands, whatever. And, and position will be small, but the average will be safe. We do believe uh, this eventually will turn around. I have no idea what's going to make it turn around. As you can see from this chart, it looks like uh, Armageddon, but I don't think Bitcoin's going away. Um, it's not like a stock that can go bankrupt. There are some problems with um, mining costs right now. But there are miners out there, especially the guys in Iceland, who get their power basically for free. So I think there will always be miners out there uh, who are doing this correctly, as in uh, getting a discounted power source. That's for another video. I just wanted to mention it. Uh, as the world gets mega bearish on Bitcoin, uh, we will stick our necks out again at between 3100 and 2900 
uh, to dip our toes in the water. Not a whole lot to sink our teeth into today. Um, so we're kind of waiting and watching, waiting for this Brexit news, and waiting for more short-term setups before we dive into anything. I guess Dollar Swiss is the best chart. But again, um, we're more watching than trading here at the Open today. Good luck out there. Make some dough. I will talk to you guys tomorrow.